Hi everyone, it's Miss Rachel from the William Jeans Library. I'm excited to read some more poetry to you for National Poetry Month, the month of April. And today is actually Earth Day. Um, so one of the poems I'm going to read pertains to Earth Day in a way, um, but I'm going to read several because the the poems in this book are a little bit shorter than some of the other ones. The book is called Friends and Foes, Poems About Us All, and it's by Douglas Florian. And Douglas Florian wrote the poems as well as did the amazing drawings in this book. The drawings are really fun. They, um, they look sort of like they're done with crayon, like maybe you could even do them yourself. I'm going to read with permission from the publisher, Simon & Schuster. And the first one I'm going to read is called, I Like You. I like you when you listen. I like you when you talk. I like you when you whistle. I like you when we walk. I like you when we wrestle. I like you when we race. I like you when you tell a joke or make a silly face. I like you when we play all day or when the play must end. But most of all, I like you because you are my friend. And there's the illustration that goes along with that one. And some of the poems in this book are about some of the hard things about being friends or when a friendship doesn't work. Um, so there are books, just like the title says, about friends and foes, which is means when you don't get along so well with someone. But the ones that I chose are more of the friendly ones because I was feeling in a friendlier mood today and didn't want to read the other ones. But if you check this book out from the library, you can take a look at those poems too. The next one I'm gonna read is the one that made me think of Earth Day, so I decided to make sure to include this one. It's called, I'm Friends with Trees. I'm friends with trees, with bumblebees, and every creeping creature. I'm friends with stones and dinosaur bones, but mostly Mother Nature. And here is a picture of this artist's interpretation of what Mother Nature might look like. A big giant leaf, maybe. What do you think? The next one I'm going to read is called Strangers. And this one might be my favorite one of the ones I chose to read tonight. I like it very much. I hope you do too. Once we two were strangers. I found you somewhat strange. But when I learned about you, then things began to change. We come from different cultures. We speak a different tongue. I come from California. You grew up in Hong Kong. The foods we eat are different. Our clothes are different too. We've got different religions. I look different than you. Once we two were strangers, we seemed so far apart. But now, despite our differences, we're both the same at heart. You really can be friends with somebody who seems very different than you. And the more you learn about someone, the less different they seem, and the more you can enjoy and appreciate the things about them that are new to you. And you're no longer strangers, you're friends. The last one I'm gonna read is called, How Do You Say Friend? In Spain, they say amigo. The Danish word is ven. Italians say amico. In Afrikaans, it's friend. The Maltese say habib, while French folks say ami. The Irish word is cara. Swahili, rafiki. In different countries, friendship may have a different name, but though the spelling's different, the meaning is the same. This is a really fun picture because it has some of the words to say friend in different languages spelled out. 
but then you can find some pictures of some little friends hiding among the letters. There's a picture on the back. I'll try to not make a glare, but that's tricky. There, that kind of works. Of some people looking friendly and some people looking not so friendly. Maybe those are the foes. Hopefully, you can take a look at this book at the library. Thank you for letting me share some of the poems in it with you, and I hope I will see you again next time.